Hi everyone! Tom was here, back at it with another video. This time um, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I have jumped both feet into collectibles as a whole. I kind of redid my cabinet that you usually see behind me in other videos. But the one thing I really didn't dabble into too much, really at all, was comic books. And um, had, a, had a couple comics. Um, really only had one in particular. It was one I purchased off eBay, and it was like 12 bucks. It was supposedly a special edition of The Walking Dead that was signed by Robert Kirkman. It was from like a comic book shop, and it was on the cabinet. It was actually, I had put it on the back wall and actually like stuck it to the back wall. Um, but the other thing that I wanted, um, and I don't know why I wanted this, but I did want this. Um, I wanted a comic book from August of 1983, which is... The month and year of my birth, um, it was something I looked for for a long time, and I wanted a, I think I wanted a Batman comic, was kind of the mindset I was thinking of, and I was like, I wonder if there's a Batman comic that has a pretty cool cover that I could just get off eBay and then send it in for grading um, to um, get it encapsulated just because it's August of 83, and then I had the Kirkman comic, and I went, well, what if I got that graded too? So that's what I did. In early June, I sent off those two comics to get graded. The process took about two months. Um, it was a lengthy process for sure. And I looked a few a couple places where I could possibly do this. CGC, of course, comes to mind. CGC recently bought JSA, and um, they're kind of the big name in comic book grading. Um, but they're very expensive. And what I found across the board is that all comic book grading is expensive. I didn't see anybody, at least not that I, were, I was aware of, that had cheap comic book grading. Uh, and the bigger issue is that I don't really have too much concern about how graded these things are because I plan to keep them both. So it's a little bit of an oddball thing. I just kind of wanted them encapsulated as a cool... Um, you know, memorabilia piece. I decided to have them graded. I sent it to CBCS, which I found out well later, uh, after well after I submitted it, and only a few weeks before it actually got shipped back to me, is apparently Beckett's comic book grading service. Uh, so, we're gonna crack open this very, very big box for two comics. Um, they must have packed it very well, because it's, it's hefty. It's very hefty. CBCS, comic book grading blind reveal on Tom was here. Oh, hi. It's Lieutenant Jim Bangle of the Reno Sheriff Department, and you're watching Tom Was Here. <laughs> So we're just going to crack this open. I was going to do a video kind of like the standard video, um, you know, where it's like a, like a mystery box style. But I realized it's two comics, you know what I mean? I was like, you just pull them out of the thing and, you know, that's, that's about it. Um, but didn't uh, I didn't check even to see if they sent you what the actual grades were on the thing. I never actually clicked into the dashboard when I saw the email that said it shipped. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do this blind because... And we'll hope for the best. Okay. And yeah, they did pack this very, very well. Very, very well. Yeah. Okay, they're in here. All right, cool. Very cool. Very well packed. Man, they, they packed it good. Um, impressive packing job. And as someone who gets a lot of things from a lot of different places, I, I am impressed with, um, with CB... CS, at least as far as the packing is concerned. Um, man, I don't even know where to attempt to open this up. I've never opened up a comic book grades before. I could... The other thing, um, and I, as I mentioned, because uh, I wanted to mention this, <laughs> I guess I'll do this while I'm, pa I'm packing this, is yeah, I did purchase the Robert Kirkman signed Walking Dead comic book from eBay. And I purchased it from a comic book store on eBay that came highly regarded. They had great reviews. But, truth be honest, there was no COA. There was no certificate of authenticity to anything that said that this comic book... They said it was signed at a special event at their store. And who am I to confirm whether or not the event was at their store? So the one thing I wanted to do with this grading comic was also, I guess, confirm that this was actually a Robert Kirkman signature. And I... You know, I did have something in the back of my mind that fully assumed 
that they would send it back to me and go, haha, no. Um, but they did send it to me. It is bagged. I'm gonna guess this is. We'll do a little reveal there. I'm in. Um, you can see all the weird things on my table, including my Fallout Boy whatnot uh, <laughs> holder for cards. Um, but um, it is, yeah, it's it's in a case and it's thing. And let's see what we got here. A nine point eight verified signature Robert Kirkman. 9.8 on the CBCS. Man, that's cool. That's real cool. Um, that's actually suddenly quite a collectible in my collection here. Um, Robert Kirkman, of course, created The Walking Dead. Um, I bought this, if I remember correctly, and I may have mentioned it for like 13 or 15 bucks, something like that, um, on eBay, and um, paid a significantly more than that, you know, here to get graded here um but uh that's pretty cool that's awesome so now it's verified um the only bummer is that um obviously with cgc they just recently purchased jsa and i think i could have got it like with the new you know cgc jsa like dual thing on there um but beyond that i think it's a pretty cool slab it looks awesome um, it's a 9.8, which, um, there's a question I have about comic books, and color me naive here. Um, does anybody ever get a 10? Like, the mo the highest I've ever seen is a 9.8, and this is a 9.8, so I'm obviously thrilled with that. But is there ever a 10? Is there a 10 that exists? I've never seen, on eBay when I've looked for comics, and other places where I look for comics, I've never seen a 10. So maybe someone who knows comics stops by and they can tell me a little bit about it. But as far as this goes, I'm thrilled. Not only is it verified as Robert Kirkman, um, but it's a 9.8. Uh, that is pretty darn good. In fact, that's the best grade you could possibly get. And I am happy. So that is very, very cool. And um, yeah, that's a very, very cool piece. And I'm happy to have it as part of the collection. You know, as someone who just started collecting things kind of I've always collected things, but as someone who really, you know, made it a pandemic hobby to start getting autographs and stuff like that, i got a nice little collection here over the past few years. I cannot complain. Now, this one here was an eBay find. I actually paid more for this comic than I paid for this one. <laughs> I know this one's going to be way more valuable than this one is, um, but even so, um, this was, I think, like 24 25 bucks. There was a reason is because it's from August of 1983, the year and month of my birth, um, and I wanted a Batman, and found a Batman, and it's got a pretty cool cover, which is why I did it, and let's see how it did. Okay, I got all my receipts and stuff in there. You know what? <laughs> pretty good. Um, all right. It got... Man... A 9.6, that's pretty good. Um, look at that cover. That cover is legit. Um, you know, with the Riddler, the money getting flown around here. and uh, Yeah, Riddler cover and appearance. So I guess what I'm confused, and maybe somebody can let me know, is the yellow authentication, maybe I'll just put them like that, is the yellow authentication here because there was an autograph versus here where there it's not. Um, it does mention the Riddler appearance. Um, it mentions, yeah, this is this is really why I got it authenticated. Batman 362, DC 8, 1983. <laughs> that was the extent of why I got that one done. Um, but the 9.6 is pretty good. Um, I can't complain about these grades. In fact, I was fully convinced both of these would kind of get bad grades. I didn't, it wasn't like I was some expert. I don't know anything about grading and, and you know, bad enough cards, let alone comics. I was looking, I was like, they look pretty good. I didn't see anything noticeably bad about them. The color looked pretty good. They weren't faded. I didn't see too many cracked edges. I didn't see any, you know, anything on there that I thought was, you know, that would really downgrade that. Um, but... <laughs> Can't be mad at the results. 
a 9.6 and a 9.8. Man, those are pretty good grades. Um, it's funny, I uh, the only other comic I have is one I found on eBay. It was, I got a first edition of Beavis and Butthead graded on a CGC slab, and it's 9.4, and I paid like 40 bucks or something like that for it. Um, but a 9.4, I was like, well, that's a pretty good grade. I was like, I don't think either of those I sent in will get close to that. Turns out they both exceeded it. So, um, let me hear your thoughts on, do you have any graded comics? I didn't have some, too many prior to today. I only had one, and that was the Beavis and Butthead, and now I have two more to add to the list. And, you know, man, it'd be cool to get a couple that are signed by someone notable and uh, send them in for grading because I, I love these slabs. I think they come out really cool. Um, it's a nice, like art piece i guess you could say a nice collectible um because they have like a nice yeah i mean they're kind of frozen in time i guess you could say um and certainly this one being that it's a batman it's the month and year of my birth it's um really excited about that one and really excited about this one because there's some nice value to this one uh not that i'm gonna or plan or will move any of them um because i have no plans to what I'm going to do with them, though, is hard to say <laughs> at the moment, just because I completely redid my cabinet, and now there's, like, hardly any space as far as being able to put places. But you know what? I'll find somewhere to put them, because they're really awesome. Um, but let me know your thoughts on the, um, on the CBCS slabs. I don't know if you've ever seen too many of those, or maybe you just go CGC only. Maybe it's something like a, you know, with cards, like a PSA versus an SGC, or some preference, or some, somebody likes one better than the other, or this one's trash, the other one's trash. I'll be honest, I don't care, really. <laughs> you can certainly let me know your opinion and be like, oh, why didn't you send a CGC, this is trash, whatever. I think it turned out fine. I, I think they look great. Um, I, I have no issues, so I am super happy. But that'll wrap it up. CBCS comic book grading. My first time ever doing this. Um, and got two uh, Walking Dead 9.8 signed by Robert Kirkman, the special commemorative edition of Death of Rick Grimes. Uh, and 9.6 Batman with the Riddler. 8 of 1983 very very cool and i'm thrilled um you know i don't see any major big difference between that and the cgc myself i know some people have a preference but that'll wrap it up guys thanks so much for watching if you were new here make sure to like share subscribe you like support me on patreon like john bailey like brett persing like fan, you can do so. Link is in the description below. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, hey Tom, what's your t-shirt? You can do so at Spreadshirt, as well as links to my eBay store, Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok, and the Pennsylvania Autograph Collector Association. Links are in the description below. But when it comes to the next video, I will see you soon. But until then, bye everyone.